Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this, I will be streaming at my normal time, but I just wanted to get this out there and talk about these stable coins real quick before the stream happens in about an hour and a half. I want to talk about Tether, PaxCoin, TrueUSD, all these stable coins. As you can see, Tether totally fell apart here over the last 12 hours or so reaching a low all the way down to 85 cents which I believe is the lowest we've seen yeah the lowest we've seen at least in this history the history on Kraken and this has led to a surge in prices on not only the exchanges that trade into tr Tether but al also exchanges that trade into USD like Coinbase has seen Bitcoin pop up I want to talk about here why I am not going into true USD or PAX coin or any of these other stable coins and it's very simple they're trading at a super high premium right now PAX coin is at a dollar twelve true USD is at a dollar eleven and if we just look at PAX here a dollar twelve the PAX website makes it very clear one PAX equals one dollar USD so every single one of these PAX coins is exchangeable for $1 USD. So right now, if you get into PAX or TrueUSD, any of these stable coins, any of these new stable coins, you're paying a premium. You're paying $1.12 for something that is worth $1. You're paying $1.12 for a coin that you can exchange for a dollar. You're paying a 12% premium right now for something that is only worth a dollar so for every $1,120 you throw into this you're only able to redeem them for a thousand dollars so this is due right now to the super low supply that is out there for these new stable coins that have hit the market such as PAX same thing with true USD these are redeemable for one dollar so anything over that dollar you're paying a premium and once all all things equal again and once tether once tether comes back to life that is if they do come back to life get their bank account and stuff this tether is the exact same thing each one of these tethers is redeemable for a dollar but with the FUD in the market right now on tether it's trading at a huge discount and you know that is to be expected when FUD hits the market there is that uncertainty about whether there is money in the bank with Tether and can you actually re redeem these Tethers for one dollar that's why we're seeing the huge discount on Tether but to me that does not make true USD or PAX coin or any of these other stable coins that are trading at a large premium attractive options just because when all things return to equilibrium these coins are worth one dollar and none of the sites make it more clear than PAX they put it big at the top of the website one PAX coin is worth one dollar USD now of course guys I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice but to me it's just common sense why would I pay a dollar and twelve cents for something that is worth one dollar I can redeem it for one dollar USD to me it does not make sense to pay a twelve percent premium and pay a dollar and twelve cents for something that is only worth a dollar now of course over the shorter term we can see big pumps like this because Tether is the king. Tether has billions and billions of dollars, whereas these other stable coins have a couple million dollars worth of coins out there. So everybody is fighting for these other stable coins, pushing the price up. But in the long term, is it worth it to hold this? Well, in the long term, you'd expect it to return to equilibrium and be worth that one dollar again. Same thing with True USD. We saw it pegged at $1 forever. Yes, we had a couple bumps here and there, but this is because of the low supply of these new stable coins. It's easier to see pumps like this just because of a low supply. With the low supply and lots of demand, prices can see fluctuations like this, but for the most part, it's pegged at that $1 range, what these coins are worth. 
So I will be jumping on a stream at the normal time, talking the Bitcoin charts, altcoin charts, as well as the stablecoin charts. But I just wanted to get this video out there beforehand, uh, just to let you guys know that for me, the money I did have in True USD, I actually put back into Tether. Now Tether is a bit of a gamble because of their whole banking situation right now, and you know, right now it's a falling knife. But over the longer term. The whole premise behind stablecoins is that every one stablecoin you can redeem for one dollar USD. So right now, if, that's if, Tether gets their bank account back up and everything figured out, this should go back to being pegged for a dollar and you're seeing a 8% discount on it now. So those are just my thoughts on what's going on with the stablecoins right now. Again, I will be jumping on stream later. I hope to see you guys in there. If you're not subscribed already and you want to join us for the stream, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. But that's going to do it for this quick video, guys. I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half for the stream. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.